Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tobias and it's been a while since I made a tutorial so a lot of people on Twitter have been asking me about how to make this pen tool so design that I do. So if you want to know my Twitter it's down below to at TimPartsYT and I should start this tutorial so I'm pretty sure you know the resolution. So just click file new, new document, uh, 3000 one by 1000. Great, alt back spit and you obviously want to get the pen tool so you want to click and drag and it does this sort of thing, sort of a uh, layer. You know, hold control, click anywhere, and it does that. And click up here, make something like that again. Oh, oh that, that's terrible. Something like that. And then right click, make selection, enter, make a new layer. Oh, backspace on white, make a new layer, and then. Uh, alt and then click here uh, uh, or you can right click create clipping mask then make some stuff like this and they will make it really cool so watch this so stuff like this do the same thing make a new layer uh, create clipping mask do the same thing again um, if it gets really repetitive I might just speed this up and because I've showed you how to do it basically so like, oh that's terrible. Just gonna click one up here. Maybe like a stuff like that. Now what I'm gonna do is make one more and then go on to the next one. It's pretty simple to do this, like really, but I spent like three hours on mine. This is a tutorial, I don't really want to spend three hours doing this. So I'm showing you a quick little um oh I'm doing it white. I'm gonna show you a quick little tutorial on how I make my stuff. And now what we're going to do is group this together as you can see. So after you grouped it, make another layer, make it like, uh, like a circle kind of, like this. And group it like that. Mix selection. Sorry if I'm speaking fast, I will speak fast. Um, and then just fill it all in like that. Make a new layer. Uh, Create clip and Marty. Uh, it, this tutorial is going to be so bad. I haven't done one in like a year. But uh, bear with me. So keep doing it. Just like this. Boom, boom, boom. I'm doing it. This one's going to go around the edges, like this. Maybe just in again after this. See this little thing down here? Just going to control, hold control, click the side, drag it down. And boom, making that sort of effect. Make sure it's clipping mask. Sorry if my keyboard's a bit loud. <laughs> Next to the door, it will be so much better. Like, I'll be able to speak and stuff, but it's kind of, you know. Don't want to wake up my. Uh... Ooh, there you go. See how it looks good right now? And as I said, this tutorial was like five minutes, so it's not really going to be the best, is it? But. Looks like this. I'm gonna add a photo filter. Get a nice blue like this. Drag it a bit more down. We want oh up actually. Still a light blue. You can pick your own colour obviously. So this is what it normally looks like and we want to make it a bit more blue like that. Now we're gonna make the background white. So instead of this background being black, make it white. Now we're gonna go to curves. And we are going to drag it all down like this. Click over here, click once, and drag down. And you, you can also use the stuff you pack. And at 50 likes, I'll make this available for download. I also have some stuff on my cell phone. So it's going to drag it all the way down. There you go. Except from that, it needs to be like. I don't like this, but. Right, and now we're going to group this. It's not done, don't worry guys, this looks terrible. Um, drag it like that. And then click Control T. 
flip horizontal, drag it a bit over, like so. Now make another copy, drag it under like that, left click, drag it under that group, make it a bit bigger, left control in the top corner, drag it, keep dragging it, you know, put it under everything actually, let's try that, yeah that looks better. Now if we do that, so let's make it a bit bigger. Then we're gonna uh, click enter, then click control T again. Um, I actually no. Control E, click control E, guys. And now you wanna click control T. <laughs> you wanna click this thing up here. And um, we're gonna drag these corners to where it's like not white over here. See where it's like white. You wanna drag it. Make sure it blends in like like that. These white bits are normal, this is what's actual on the actual thing as you can see. Right, here we go, drag that bit in. Actually, we're going to raise it out, don't worry about that. And as you see, the black's not that good. So we're going to drag it above the curb so the black's actually, you know, a black instead of a grey. So I'm put it down here. As you can tell, makes it a bit better. Now on the white bits, you can see the white bits here. Just drag it like that because it makes it terrible if there's any white bits when you have curbs. Just gonna make it like that. Just copy what I'm doing. I can't really speak in this. There's no point in speaking. So just do that. Put under the curves. So it's a blue, and then Control U, saturation. Bring it a bit down, and bring that down. So if you can hear a baby crying in the background, and then Control J and do the same thing. And erase some. Do like that. Just control J everywhere, well not everywhere, but make something like that. Click this thing up here, drag it along. I think most of you guys that watch my videos now to do this stuff. That's why I'm not explaining it, but uh, just comment down below if you want me to make a detailed like. Also click this, drag it here, and something like that. So put that thing up there. Forty percent. That looks good at the moment. We're gonna go above everything this time. On these white bits, make some shading. Same thing. As I said, it's going to be repeated like 12 times what I'm saying because, you know, so I didn't want to speak, but I finally have the time to speak in a video. So here you go. Boom. I like that. Just trying to make this thing over here look shaded so we're gonna take away this there you go so you can tell that makes this bit shaded we gonna put it down to like 30% this makes it look a bit better and more professional so now this I'm gonna make this um, control E this group I'm gonna copy it put this down here that looks good. Let's drag it under some stuff, see if that makes it look better. No, it doesn't. Alright, I think that's done. And then what you're going to do is add some text. Let's put that in the center. But if you guys are new to Photoshop, obviously tell me I'll make a better tutorial. This is for my, my people on Twitter that are really good at designs. They ask me how to make this. So, let's get better font. I'm not really making the text as I'm just going to put text there so you know what it will look like. So let's put like a... 
Let's put this. I'm gonna shout out to Visual Arts. I'm gonna use his font real quick. I mean, um, layer style. Just as a reputation. Reputation. Yeah, whatever. I don't know how to Alright, so that's what it looked like. Made this all ourselves, no stocks included. Use this in your graphics pack, you know what I mean? Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. And at 65 likes, I'll make another tutorial similar, but better. Like, a better tutorial, more like 55 minutes, like my designs that I make. So, link down below to my cell phone. You can, down you can download, you can buy it. Uh, something like this, it's like, um, a client made header, and DM me on Twitter nine pound to buy a header uh, at ten parts YT and subscribe. Like we just hit five point seven k, that is insane, and we're getting like twenty five subs a day. So I uh, fucking love you guys. Peace.